going guys Nick here with Nick strength and power so in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to strict curl the strict curl strict curl strict curl strict curl strict curl strict curl stuff strict curl strict curl NSP exclusive wet dream strict curl the strict curl strict Michael Todd here uh, we got Lee Priest going for the 221 oh, yeah Mr. Devin Larratt good friend of ours going for 158 here good lift could Larry just do like a 12 labors of Hercules type thing around the world? Because, goddamn, the dude is the strongest at everything. Blessing, Andrew Jacked, also crazy. Mr. Dennis Splankoff, this is the world record, right? 249 pounds. Larry is only 29 pounds off. That's crazy. It's goddamn crazy. I don't think Nick Strength Power says goddamn, but we're doing it today. Juji, <laughs> all you, bud. Well, now we've seen everyone who's done strict curls, Nick's strength and power. I counted. He has said the word strict curl in the last two months 600 times. Good God. Yes, yeah, 607 to be exact. John, what are the rules? Rules of the strict curl are your upper back and butt must stay in contact with the wall on the way up and on the way down. You can take a slightly wider chance if you, uh, wider stance if you want. The heels have to be 12 inches from the wall, so I got a yardstick down there. 12 inches for the people that are going to be judging us in the comment section your head your upper arms and your wrist wrist can move as much as they want so the elbows it doesn't matter where they are all this stuff can move as long as your upper back and your butt are in contact with the wall and your heels are where they're supposed to be those are the rules and i guess i can wear a belt because some powerlifting federations are making a comeback with a strict curl is that a thing Crazy V taper with the belt right now though. In the black on the white, nice. Hundred and thirty-six pounds. Easy game. All right. Good lift. You don't have an angle on your back, uh, but no, it's no. okay. It's all right. And I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with my butt coming off the wall because I don't have a problem with my butt coming off the bench on my bench press. So Tom is also gonna be doing this lift with me. So we're gonna see where our strict curl maxes are, and then Nick strength the power, you guys. Can do a video on this. I'm gonna use a little ammonia here. Ah, ammonia. You can get it on jujumufu.com. Link is in the description below. Uh, this is the perfect lift for this, actually. Yeah, it's just stupid strength you need. <laughs> 156 pounds. Juju's never done this on strict curls, so we have no benchmark. Get it. Come on. Lift the shit. Lift it. That, okay. Good. Very Whoa. good. Very good. This is my face? I think this face has more pressure than any other lift, bro. Like, I feel more face pressure than a squat or a deadlift. And this, I think my cheeks are going to explode. 181 pounds. <laughs> Up. Ooh. <laughs> That's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> like a year and a half old. Oh, I guess it's still good. It still works! Come on, Tom! Oh, oh shit! I know, it's kind of funny how it just doesn't work. I did 85. Yeah. Off uh, warm up. Uh, let me take the 2.5s off of it. Yeah, I don't use the white either, but for this, I feel more strong. I just don't feel as great for developing biceps for reps. Oh, come on, come on, Tom, get it up, go, 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 go. Oh my God, it was, dude, if you rested an extra minute, I think you would have had it. You jumped right into that. Guys, if you're wondering how I'm preparing for the upcoming bodybuilding competition, the strict curls, the one rep max. Yeah, come on. Get it up. Oh, fucking, oh. The 156 looked so smooth <laughs> and 14 pounds. It's know. like grip strength, to be honest. I have no problem with my grip. I have a problem with my bicep. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> the, the, the weight increments are like when we're doing grip strength implements. Yeah, so it's just every little pound matters on this because this is the, the weight ratio is different. Like if you squatted, it's, it's like me going up 45, 55 pounds on a squat when I go up, you know, five or 10 pounds on this lift. So that's kind of what. What you guys gotta imagine this is like. What's your preacher curl record? My preacher curl max is 156. 
So you match that. Yeah, I match that with standing. I would say this is about the same feeling. Hmm. Uh, I mean, it's a different feeling, but it's like about the same difficulty for me, so. Okay. I don't know, should I do it again? Uh, probably, let's just do, why don't you just do one, why don't you 161 just okay. to try to best I'll do it right now. It is not a good strategy to work backwards from a failed attempt to find out where your real max is. I've never had good luck with that, so this is not a great way of doing this, but who cares, it's a strict <laughs> The bar is yours. Finish it. Good. Whoa. Okay. I'll take it. 161. 161. I wonder what you could do if you didn't have your butt and your crap against the wall. You try it without leaning against this thing over here. Well, that was definitely cheated. Yeah. There's no way when you go up that heavy that you cannot not cheat that though, and, you know, so. Uh, we were gonna do preacher curl uh, max as well, but I don't think we need to. No, we're gonna go into a real arm workout now because this isn't real, this is just fiction. Now we're gonna get a Thompson, a farmer's farmer's tan, which is a tan on not, not the shoulders, but just the, uh, just the forms. We're doing a bicep curls, preacher curl. We've been primed with some heavy strict curls, and then we're gonna go to do triceps, yeah. Tom, thanks for coming over and doing a an arm workout at my place. I know your place is becoming the arm mecca of the uh, Charlotte area. Yeah. But uh. Yeah, there's. <laughs> people. Uh, they have dreams of it, and then they eventually just make the sojourn to my my garage. Yeah. And they have to take like uh, an ayahuasca to to have to know the path. Mm -hmm. That'd be so cool. Except yeah. all the strangers coming. But on ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? What are we doing? We're doing a set of this. You're mm -hmm. gonna rest a couple minutes to do a set of triceps. So the straight sets. So keep it simple before we start doing a bunch of supersets. How's this triceps treating you, John? They got bigger the last. Uh, oh yeah, they're half? twice the size they were from the last time we did a tricep video. No longer a weak point, guys. Yeah. His triceps are now the strong point because for 12 days, John has only been doing triceps. <laughs> <laughs> New tricep attachment. How's it feeling, John? Is this spiral thing? You got it on mine. New sunglasses, how are they feeling? They're yours, actually. I've been wearing them a lot, haven't I? <laughs> you have, yeah. I like them. I, they cover a lot of the face, I guess, and they look stupid, so. Uh, tricep attachment's great, so me and Antoine met a couple weekends ago. It does feel better, though. <laughs> yeah. And then at the bottom, because it's wide, you can push with the palm, like that. There you go, that's it. He had never used this attachment. He started using it, and he was like, Juju, you have to try this. This is best. You gotta get one. It'll help you out. And we just used it, and I agree. It's the best tricep attachment I've used. Nice. So. Tricep siren. All right, we got some uh, cable preacher curls now. Tom, you're actually really strong on all these arm exercises. Uh, gonna get stronger this, this winter. My strict curl is my focus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Who cares about physique when I can have the strictest best curl in North Carolina? The strictest best curl. We'll get, what, what's a good goal for two year timeline? A um, body weight strict curl. A body weight strict curl? What the hell? I think there's guys with it, right? Uh, what's that uh, arm wrestler? Uh, uh, Siplinkov. Siplinkov? Dennis about Siplinkov? He's, Siplinkov? He's too big for it, I think. I think you need to be, I think like 180 pound dude, there's probably several that can do body weight. Yeah, okay. Well, my money's on Martin's Lisi still, even though he's 350 pounds. Here, John, you do my super sub. <laughs> oh! You look like you didn't get picked for the dodgeball team in middle school. I can't remember if I was... I wasn't the first pick ever. But I have arm veins. I have arm veins, guys? Don't you want me to throw a dodgeball at your teammate? I'm also the biggest target, but... But that's because you're middle schoolers and I'm a 34-year-old man. <laughs> Are you good at dodgeball? Oh, I loved dodgeball, yeah. I was a goalie in soccer, so I could whip the ball super hard. Dude, yeah, you would be good at dodgeball because you're really good at just rushing into nonsensical situations yeah. and death blasts. I'm pretty nimble, too. Yeah. I'm nimble. Hey, guys, what should we do with death blaster this upcoming season? What are we gonna do with that? Well, how can we? Uh, don't ask about it. I don't want to edit that shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take the. You guys can listen to. There's certain things 
that editing is a real pain in the ass. Combination of dodgeball and hacky sack. Oh! Death Blaster is one of them because there's multiple people filming that don't know how to film and there's tons of raw footage and I have to edit it to make it any sort of interesting and it gets low views. So, cool. All the reasons. There's, there's like a checklist of things. Tricking flips gets low views because most people don't care. They care about triceps, but I still enjoy editing it. So, it wins. <laughs> These are things that, you know, most people don't really know about, you know, from the other side. They don't, yeah. They don't the diet video, I enjoyed editing. Sometimes there's a lot of information you guys need to understand what's going on, and that means there's going to be more editing. Context yeah. matters. It does matter. What video do you think you've edited, Tom? That if you guys don't know, Tom edits the videos. Okay, so let's just make that clear. Um, if anyone has forgotten that, he edits all the videos. What video have you edited that took the most context added in? Like things that are just like. I honestly think the di diet video that, that one just pr produced. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of information I threw into that bastard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I, th I actually believe it is. Okay. But your transformation will be the most. <laughs> That one's gonna have of more all time, than that. yeah, it'll like, it'll trump that. But that's that's a long term project. The diet I just had to jam out in like four or five days. And, yeah. So another video in the back catalog that took time a lot of editing, which is one of my personal favorites, is the uh, every fitness YouTuber. Uh, yeah. Fitness YouTubers are ruining fitness. Yeah, or what was it? I don't remember the name of it. Uh, yeah, I can I can never remember titles, but. Uh, Click, go, go watch it. They're video. ruining YouTube fitness. Yeah, these, oh. yeah. That one's fun with Fillion. That I miss one, Fillion too. That was a good video. It was really fun to make too. It we was were, fun to make. Like, yeah. I loved being Kino Body. <laughs> that was so fun. I got this huge announcement today uh, that'll help you gain hard mass, lean mass, get that Hollywood physique you've always been looking for. Gigi's wrestling name is the tricep. I took my new favorite tricep attachment and we added this fancy little exercise. Mm -hmm. If you never took an incline bench from the dumbbell area of your local gym and wedged it against the cable stack to do this, well then you just haven't pissed off enough people after work who just wanted to go to the mirrors and look at themselves while doing curls while sitting on an incline bench. You know, I like the, my favorite gym goer is the quad extension lady. Quad extension lady, okay, oh, I don't yeah. know that one actually. I've been on my phone for what seems like 18 to 25 minutes, but I'm also doing quad extensions with pause, pause, uh, pause sets. What, what city were you in? I've never seen this woman. I really? Mm -mm. Commenters, uh, have you seen this? Uh, because I've seen it multiple times. I've seen it in Albuquerque, um, Utah City. Uh, You're in Utah? Uh, I even saw it overseas. Okay, you're lying. You never seen it. Yeah, dude. When I was in Tokyo, there was a lady doing it too. When were you in Albuquerque? Albuquerque is one of my favorite destinations. Dude, New, they, New Mexico is cool. They call it a destination city. Do you know that? No, I didn't know that actually. Oh, it just has a book. <sighs> Good. Same bench, different attachment. How's your diet going? Food. Dude, I'm dialed. You're, you're dialed in. There we go. There we go. You can create it's kind of fun. offensive. But... <laughs> What's offensive? The band? Band. Yeah. Just wear a just wear a mask when you do this. Get the Jason mask back there. We used to wear for videos. I like masks. We all wear masks though, Tom. It's just the way human beings are. Oh yeah. <laughs> Superset. No, I got this superset. No, from you, you. Super. I got this one from you actually. And it works really well. Dude, the blood goes straight into your triceps. The thing is, look right here. It's such a crazy freaking stretch at the bottom, and that's what I'm going for. It was the first time my triceps have been sore, like that sore in a while. It's great. Nice. Where'd you? Ah, where'd you get this from? The super John Meadows. Set. Always. John Meadows got it from you. Where? Who? Who he get it from? Uh, he got it from Aristotle. Oh, uh, who got it from Reg Park? Who got it from Plato? Who got it from uh, Jesus? There's one guy that invented the whole thing. Edison. Oh, Thomas Edison. He invented Zodiac too. Yeah, are you talking about the serial killer? Oh the no! The guy that invented the light bulb. No, the, the light bulb guy. Oh. Mr. Edison. He invented this too. Oh, he's doing more. A little pause. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. What was that? A rest pause? I just did a rest pause. Right? Like, yeah. Uh, three more reps. Uh, what do we have after this? Hammer curls. Yeah, we get to oh, do some hammer curls. Oh, and a special finisher. Yeah. So come with us. Uh, 
I'm gonna do my Irish accent again. <laughs> Give me an accent to do. Uh, Canadian. Canadian accent? Yeah. Okay, just uh, swipe right, won't you? You're gonna choose your own hammer curl. Yeah. I've chosen the, the line, cable, rope attachment hammer curl as my hammer curl of choice right now. Is there a reason? Uh, I just thought of it. Nice. <laughs> I haven't done it in a while either, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I'll probably do, we're, we're gonna do two sets, so I'll probably do some dumbbells too, which is I think what you're gonna start with, right? Yo! Yeah! This looks wrong actually. You ever look at it like this? You're, you're grabbing some balls or something? I mean, every time you grab a rope attachment like this, man, it just looks. Definitely some cojones there. Use that PVC pipe next to me again. Let's do it again. Uh, you totally missed. You look like you're about to arm wrestle someone. Oh, I'm about to urinal, dude. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah the old man urinal hammer curl, I call this. No, no, the old man urinal requires you to put uh, one or both of your hands on the wall above the urinal. This is the old man uh, BJ position. It is? Yeah, I've seen a couple old men get BJs in my day. What country was this in? <laughs> the U.S. of A, of course. There's no BJs in other countries. This one, if you cut off the form roller, you know, it just looks like you're rolling something else in your hands. Yeah. Guys, this is a form roller from Grip Genie. I'd have to say it's one of my favorite products that we sell from Grip Genie. I also like the, uh, the rolling grip thing. There's fantastic. We should have done some of that today. Forgot about that. But but the thing is, you don't need bigger forms, man. You, we've we've spoken before we started the video. I was like, dude, commenters are right. Your forearms are so big that it makes your arms look small. Well, Dorian Hamilton is doing my diet right now. Is saying that my back and my chest are very very well developed, but it's making my arms look small as well. And Tom pointed out that my forearms are making my arms look small. So it's not that my arms are necessarily small. No, they're so everything big. around them are a little bigger than the arms. But uh, this is a great finisher, and I just wanted to do it. I seem to forget it sometimes, but guys, we just have this thing hooked up to a pulley in the ceiling. You can, really buy, easy. you can buy a pulley at Lowe's. Yeah. Uh, it's really nice, really easy. Thanks for watching the arm video. Uh, go out and do strict curls for no reason. Whatever you want to do. And try some of these exercises. Please. Try some of please, please. Wait, do you have arm exercises in your books? <sighs> I don't have an arm program yet, but we're going to be writing a... Uh, uh, documenting our bodybuilding journey here in this winter, so that book is coming out. Oh, I is it? don't have a name for it yet, but Tom is going to help with it. So Tom is going to be working with me through the workouts. Or... I'm the guinea pig. We might be giving Tom something extra to get real big. <laughs> you're a, all right. You're a guinea. You're a guinea pig for a lot of these workouts. Uh, how about your opinion of this workout, like so far? Oh, I love this workout. You like this workout? Yeah, my triceps are pumped as shit. Cool. My biceps are pumped as shit, and I'm on a deficit, but I'm happy. Nice. Are you gonna do this too? Uh, you know, I'm just gonna jerk off at home. Okay. 